Welcome back. We're going to continue on this discussion, choosing hay for your horses. Now, before we get going, I'd like to orient you to this slide. So what you're seeing is early stage forages going to later stage forages to the right of the slide. On that left-hand side, the left plant is grass, and you can see the stem with the blades. Then right next to it is a legume plant, or we'll use alfalfa, and has the stem with the many leaves. And then you can see the different stages of growth. And as it goes, that plant gets taller. Now that's gonna have some impact on the nutrient composition of those plants. And let me explain. As that plant grows, you're getting a decrease in the number of blades or leaves and an increase in the proportion of stems. So there's a lower ratio of the blades or leaves to stems as that plant matures. So as that plant is getting more stems, it's increasing in fiber. And with that ratio lowering, you're getting a decrease in calories and a decrease in protein. So what does that mean for choosing hay or which hay is appropriate for which horse? Well, here's some generalities. So for horses that say are hard keepers, these are horses that have difficulty keeping on weight or those growing horses, lactating mares, underweight horses, those earlier or early to mid stage forages may be more appropriate for them. Conversely, easy keepers. These are horses that put on weight relatively easily or a horse on a maintenance diet or a horse, they're a little overweight and you want to encourage some weight loss. Those mid, mid to late stage forages may be more appropriate. So what should they look like? Well, if you see early growth forage, so grass, hay, you sh should be soft, should be pliable. You should see blades. Same thing in that early growth alfalfa, where you see many leaves and again, soft. And then you can look at the protein, fiber, and energy content of those forages. Just a caveat, a pure alfalfa diet or 100% alfalfa is typically not recommended as the only source of forage because it can be too high in protein and can lead to some mineral imbalances. So keep that in mind. Now, the more mature forages, the best way to describe it is prickly, stemmy. You see less blades in the grass or less leaves in the alfalfa. Then when you look at the nutrient content, you can see it has lower protein, higher fiber, and lower energy. The other thing to keep in mind is as that plant matures, it's just not as tasty for the horse, not as palatable. So intake may go down with those more mature forages and digestibility can decrease. So those mid-stage forages may be appropriate for most horses, and especially for horses that might be having any dental issues or say our senior horses who also have dental issues, could be missing some teeth, or a horse that has some gut dysfunction, those mid-maturity forages may be more appropriate for them. Now, you may hear, get your hay tested quite a lot because it is the only way you're going to know what is in that hay nutritionally. So whenever you talk to a qualified equine nutritionist or start to get consultation with them, they're going to ask you, did you get your hay tested or can you get your hay tested? Now, when you go to get your hay tested, you need an appropriate hay sample. So Mad Barn's YouTube channel has a video on how to do that. Whether you're taking a core sample or you just have some scissors, it will take you through that process. Then you can submit that to a qualified equine nutritionist, and then they can tailor a diet specific for your individual horse. So overall, you can see as the plants mature, the nutritional content changes and every horse is an individual. So again, that is why we say, get your hay tested, work with a qualified equine nutritionist. They'll be able to tailor a diet specific for your horse. So we're going to continue on that discussion in the next video lesson. So stay tuned for that.